Matt Sharp. I'm a long-term survivor of HIV, diagnosed in 1988. I'm an AIDS educator and a long-term AIDS advocate and activist. What do you see as the biggest change in treatment for persons living with HIV AIDS in the last few years? One of the most important advances in HIV in recent years is using the same antiretroviral medications we use for treatment to prevent HIV transmission. These medications have made such a difference in the lives of people living with HIV, but now there is evidence that if they're taken correctly, that they may reduce transmission of HIV to an uninfected partner. This is known as treatment as prevention. For a little perspective, it's important to know that we've come a long way with HIV treatment over the years. Back in 1988, there was only one drug to treat HIV. It has its own history of side effects and dosage issues. But today, there are many new anti-HIV drugs, over two dozen that are used in combination, usually two drug classes in a combination. They are simpler to take, and they're more, some of them are more tolerable. In the early days of HIV, I remember taking handfuls of pills, two and sometimes three times a day. But today, many of the drugs have been combined in what's called a fixed dose regimen, essentially combining two, sometimes three drugs in a single pill that is taken once and sometimes twice a day. Another significant change today is that many of the drugs are more tolerable. Some of the newer drugs have less side effects. Still, some people may have side effects with the, with the meds and may have to choose another regimen or another pill. But that's another thing that's changed. There are so many options today. Studies have shown that taking antiretroviral medications can prevent the virus from being transmitted to others without HIV. What does that mean for me? First, it's important to understand that antiretroviral medications that are, medica are medications used to treat HIV infection, which is a type of human retrovirus, one of the many family families of viruses out there. Since the drugs work extremely well um, at stopping virus from replicating in bodily fluids, HIV cannot be passed to others in the case of a sexual exposure. Several trials have recently proven this. Treatment as prevention is sort of thought-provoking term. What this means is HIV-positive people taking these antiretroviral medications that are highly effective for treatment but also have the effect of stopping transmission to HIV-negative partners in the case of a sexual exposure. And one study recently released that brought a lot of excitement at the recent International AIDS Society Conference in Rome is known as HPTN052. This trial looked at serodiscordant heterosexual couples one who is HIV positive and one who is HIV negative, and counted the number of HIV transmissions that occurred in the HIV negative partners over a period of time. The group where the HIV positive partner started drugs earlier had fewer overall transmissions than the group who waited to start treatment. HPTN052 was only looking at heterosexual couples and the trial was run partially in Sub-Saharan Africa. So would taking the drugs have the same effect in same-sex couples in the U.S.? We don't know yet. But there is growing interest in treatment as prevention programs, yet there's still significant details to be worked out before it's ready for prime time. It's fairly clear that if you are HIV positive and take effective antiretroviral medications, that you are less likely to transmit HIV. But one thing that's important to remember, that people in the HPTN trial were counseled on safer sex methods. So if you are HIV positive and on effective antiretroviral treatment, 
it's always important to protect yourself and your partners with traditional barrier methods such as condoms and remember to engage as safely as possible with partners who are HIV negative or whom you may not know their status at all.